Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Pathfinder Kingmaker. We are still in the very early days of our campaign over here, but we've recently cleared out everything that was attacking this trading post, and then had a lovely chat with all of our NPCs uh, and uh, party members. We are ready to leave the trading post and continue on with our quest here. So let's pop out to the world map. I mean, I could just open the map as well, but let's pop out over here and see what we're doing. We're going to bring uh, all four of our characters. So we've got three melee fighters with us. Uh, oops, I didn't actually want to remove everyone, anyone over here. Um, one very tanky, two less tanky, but very smashy. And then ourselves over here, who are going to be lobbing bombs from a distance. Hopefully we can reshuffle the party soon, get some other members maybe, uh, get a little bit more variety. But for now, honestly, it's not bad. I mean, we've got some healing from myself. Uh, she can self-heal. It's, it's not honestly not a terrible group. I, and I've got, you know, some of the roguey stuff. I think one of these is high, high perception as well. So we'll see. There you go. There's a Miri again. I like how you do get a little bit of detail from your character. Although it still loads pretty fast. Hard to read it all. So we have a couple of places to go. I'm going to pop open the location names here. Fangberry Cave. That, uh, what's his name? Bo Boken? I think Boken in the trading post, would like us to go over here, fight some spiders for some berries. Over here at the Thorn Ford is where the Dryad? Nymph? Dryad? Forest Nymph? Anyway, um, was telling us if we went here, there'd be an old house uh, where we might find some information related to the fog over here. So all, the, all in all, we're gonna leave the trading post heading south and then we'll make a decision uh, from then on. So we get to our first crossroad over here. We can go cross country, which might discover something else. We could stay along the road we already know. I have no idea what the uh, what the priorities are. I suppose I suppose we could hit Fangberry Cave just on the virtue that it is the closest. I'm gonna keep going south here. I assume there's gonna be another crossing. And we get a random encounter. All right, sounds fine. Choosing advisor suit your alignment. Spoilers, I don't even have a kingdom yet. Um, why are you just sauntering up? A jittery old man in squalid clothing shuffles up to you. His gray hair is unkempt, and he continually clenches and unclenches his wrinkled, freckled hands. When he stops and looks up at you, his eyes widen, and he tugs at his beard. Strange weather, invisible fog. Oh, he's trying to rotate, see if we can get a look at him. Um, strange weather, invisible fog, creeping out of the woods, soars beyond the sky, obscures the sun and moon. Strange. Old man shakes his head, his eyes shifting about seemingly at random. I don't like this old man. Looks like the kind who can cast the evil eye. Move along, old man. We give no alms. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, wow. Same one more run, I'll kill you. Who are you? Old man freezes a moment. Remus, but that won't help with the fog. Oh, what are you doing here? I do nothing. Breathe, walk, observe. Okay, yeah, he is, he is batty. Fog looks visible enough to me. I see more than ever. But I've never seen so much before. Mm, but someone must look, and no one else can. So invisible fog, does that mean you can find your way through it? The fog is wrong. It hinders your legs, but not your sight. I wish not try. Okay. Um, I should probably go now. Hmm? Old man stares at you intently. You hasten? You should. Your rival wastes no time. He races, but in another direction. He searches for power. He'll find it. I kind of want to do the neutral thing, but... My rival? Do you mean Tartuccio? He is not tall, but he wants to climb high. Who burn at his gnomishness. Super racist. Besides him are those who could stand against him, and might yet still. What power is he searching for? Someone else's. Old, but forever young. That which was taken from another. That which gave joy, and now gives death. Old, but forever young. That was taken from another, which gave joy, now gives death. First I thought maybe a soul, but now I don't know. Gave joy, but now he gave, gives death. Old, but forever young? I want to be forever young. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, can you tell me where he is now? He's in an old tomb south of the trading post. That is actually... You, you actually said something that made sense. When I see clearly, I speak clearly. And why is it you see so clearly? I slept there last night. I noticed him as I left. <laughs> uh, how do we know we're rivals? I don't know, I see. You can choose where you set your eyes, usually. But can you choose what they see? All right, well, uh, bye. Oh. Once stolen, the land should be reclaimed. Once reclaimed, bound with the claimer shall it be. I mean, these are the stolen lands. Bound, merged, joined by unbreakable ties. Claiming land, claiming its pain, claiming its death. 
All right. Well, we got some new info. Yeah, I was gonna say he'll just do the the, the uh, RPG thing where he walks a little bit and then leaves the map. Um, I'm assuming there's nothing actually lootable in this map. And it just looks like a random road encounter kind of thing. I don't know. Hopefully not. All right. Reliable comrade in battle. Proud Valerie rejected her destiny as Paladin of Shellin. And instead, uh, something happened. Okay. Let's keep going down to the south. I wonder if I want to depart here. Or there might be another... Oh. What is this? Blackberry meadow. Thorny bushes full of juicy berries. Still grow on the side of an orchard. Kingdom resource fruits and berries. All right. Path locations unknown. Well, maybe we'll check that out after. But for now, let's head this way to Fangberry Cave. Full of spiders. Oh, endless plane. Expanse could be a per perfect place for a farm once someone deals with a manticore that claimed the plains from its hunting ground. All right, so these, I think, are related to kingdom stuff later on, so we don't have to worry about it now. But let's go to the cave. No one's tired. Oh, there's the ancient tomb where Buttface is. That's good to know. Maybe we'll prioritize going there, chasing our rival. Sometimes running away, coming back later is a good idea. Stone lands are dangerous, even for experienced adventurers. All right. Oh, light rain. Nice blue water, though. It's it's sun and rain at the same time. It's very Scottish weather. I'm used to seeing that there. Mm -hmm. At least on the West Coast, the weather is very... Uh, it changes rapidly. It's usually very windy there, so clouds come in, clouds leave very quick. Monster. Whoa, hold on. You. Monster Lizard updated, base defense, combat... Star. Okay, so oh, I guess we are probably got some sort of journal with... Maybe encyclopedia? Bestiary. Ah! So a bunch of these we don't have... We have description, but no stats. If I go down to Monitor Lizard... No, no stats here. I wonder... Can this expand? Nope. Huh. Oh! Oh, hold on. I'm seeing... I'm realizing what's going on now. Let me expand this. That's weirdly laggy. Um, so we get a lore check, and if it succeeds, then we get information about them. So we don't have their offense or abilities because we didn't make the DC check for that. Oh, look, nature, or these various lore skills are very useful. So we know they have 23 hit points and 17 AC. We don't know how much they bite for, and there's two of them. It does seem a little, like, scary, but we'll see. Um, I don't really want to use up resources if I can help it. So I guess we'll just go into auto attack mode. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull back on these two for a second. Ethel is is melee, so I do want her running in there, but I wanted to Let's try um, give way. especially Valerie a chance to get in there and hope that she yeah. So she's going to be attacked by one of the monitor lizards. Good. Poison apparently is a thing. So Amiri just got bitten. So now do I have actually info on your bite? How do I get the um? How do I get your info card back up? Stay behind me. This should do it. Huh. Inspect. There we go. Okay, so I still don't have info about their offense, even though we've seen them bite once. I was just curious if that would go and expand. Okay, well, I mean, I don't think there's anything... Well, they're clustered a little bit. Now we can drop a, uh, we can drop a little firebomb on them. Okay. 22 XP from killing one. They do have decent hit points. All right. Oh, then we get more of an update. Yeah, double check successful. So I wonder if every round, if we do a roll, so eventually, even if you fail at first, you might get the info. I mean, assuming it's possible to make the check. I don't know. Oh, I should. I want to check the rest of the uh, map here. Oh, hello. Just random knickknacks that we can sell. That's fine. I like knickknacks. That Gear. is far. I mean, I'm assuming we could attack them and probably get meat and maybe skin them. But I don't know. We don't need to do that right now. They're not scared of us at all. Wow. Okay, into the cave with the spiders. I'm sure this is going to be fine. Um, Do I want to drop some heals first? So right now, the only heals are me, yes? I've been taught that is so true. You either pray or polish your armor. Um, but I don't actually have it memorized. 
So now, really, the only way to heal is rest. Yeah, we need to get ourselves a cleric. Or maybe I should... I might... Before we rest, I might want to change my spells. Oh, shoot. Spider immediately. Okay, well... Let's set up a shield around Amiri immediately, since she's already taking a little bit of damage. That's, oh, that's one of the things... Valerie, right, let me get you to play this run. giant spider, please. Um, at least uh, Jathale can heal herself. Ah! Oh shit, there's more spiders coming. Man. Ah! Alright, shield. Okay, now you switch into attack. Yep, lots of spiders. Well... Okay, I can't hit all three. I guess I'll toss over there. And there's poison. Well, that's just lovely. Um, you there, you've got your guarded stance. Why don't you rage? Uh, bless. It's going to last for two minutes. We might be able to change this into another fight. Go ahead and bless. Drop another bomb over here. All right, good. Wow. Double kill. Lovely. So because we do have buffs going on, I'm going to want to move as quickly as possible. Uh, we do, right? Yeah, the bless is still going on. There you go. One minute, 42 seconds. The shield. Yeah. Let's try to rush and clear as quick as we can. Uh, that's a dead end that way. Okay. Oh, is there a corpse here? Okay, we'll grab that. In due time. All right. Well, keep moving. Oh, there's a giant spider. A calculator. Run, 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 run. Oh, that's actually a good angle here. Because you, the tanky do one, is going to be able to intercept these two. Oh, shit, there's a ton of these guys. Do we want to use more resources? I think that's probably a decent idea, actually. Oh, why don't I use my mutagen? To give myself a dex bonus for like 10 minutes. There we go. Uh, ooh, you're quite hurt. You don't have any potions. Let's fix that. These heal for 2... 1d8 plus 1. 2d8. I might need to do some 2d8ing here. Why don't you go ahead and drink potion of cure moderate wounds. So far the, the potions seem to be fairly plentiful. I'm not feeling the need to hoard them. Okay, you're poisoned with strength damage. Well, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's the spite being shielded? What's your AC right now? 18. Hmm. Well, these things are nasty. Um, what was it? Why? They go down! Yeah, why and enable inspecting. Oh, okay, they don't click. Base attack. Immunities to mind affecting compulsion charm web. Two foot range bite. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Well, at least some of the attackers are gone. There we go. Finish these last of them. Good. We still have... Okay, yeah, that's going to last for a while. The bless. We could run into one more fight with the bless on. And I think that would be the ideal here. So let's just charge forward. Go, 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 go. It's like the... Oh, hold on. We got a swarm here. Um, so with the swarms, I think they don't take much damage from normal attacks. I think you really need to AoE them. 9 HP. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell my group to send back. And what I'm going to do is use an alchemist bomb against these things. I think they take like one damage from melee attacks or from like normal attacks. Uh. Um, I got poison. That's just lovely. And now run back, 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 run back. Oh, the swarm's still on me. Jesus. All right, I think they're dead now. What's with the question marks? Is that your target died, so you're retargeting? I don't know what that means. Anyway, go over there. Kill that. Okay, so we're all getting huge strength penalties from these bugs. Ugh. All right, yeah, the bless is running out. Let's take a beat here. I am prepared. You have my attention. Yeah, 
Uh, why don't you heal yourself completely? Give the order. Yeah, we'd have to use more potions to heal ourselves. Should we try to sneak in a rest? I think I would like that, and I think I am going to change my memorizations. Although, okay, here's the thing. Reduce person, shield, these are all theoretically damage mitigation, which a heal is kind of equivalent to. But maybe, okay, instead of reduce person, which is good for making myself tankier, we'll keep the shields, which I can use on my allies. And yet, maybe the cure light wounds, like, it's 1d8 plus 2 right now. Maybe that's not worthwhile. I don't know. I should get one. One in there. But yeah, I think we are going to rest. Because we'll get a little bit of healing out of it. And it should get rid of some of the strength damage. I don't think we get rid of all of it necessarily. But let's let's pull back. Oops. Go away, Spider Swarm. Oh, I'm still on Y mode. That's why. Okay. Let's pull back to this cave here. Oh, there's... Uh... Oh, those are the Fangberries. Ah, oh, oh, nature check failed. It's DC 20. And it's Amiri is having to do it. Because she's got the highest skill. Uh, let's rest before we throw any more in there. Because I would hate if we got interrupted during the night. And you have no hit points from trying to pick fangberries. Now, hunting is required for a rest. No, no, we have food though. There we go. Although, maybe we're not opposed to having a longer rest time. But we're in kind of a spider cave. Now, let's eat some of our rations. That's going to be fine. I don't know what these buttons do. Does that maybe rest until fully healed? It moves the timeline. I guess we're choosing how long to rest for. One day, nine hours. If I hit this, it takes time to restore companions full health while resting. Um, yeah, let's just do the minimum one-time rest. Now, hunting here. Main hunter makes a roll against area DC to determine outcome. Like, is it... Use healing abilities before resting. We'll attempt... Yeah, so they'll auto-try to heal, although I don't think we've got any. I don't see a way to, like, change who gets assigned to this. So I don't know if it's doing it automatically based on what's better. It just says DC. Camouflage aid. Like, I don't know if it actually uses a stat or if it's just a straight-up roll. It's not very clear, but I don't seem to have any control over it, so... Presumably there's not a wrong decision to be made here, since I don't seem to be able to make a decision. So we'll begin resting. Paladins of Shaylin venerate beauty and art, but the amusing part is that they don't have the slightest clue about either. <laughs> I'd agree with you here. That's why I left the Order of the Eternal Rose behind their colored silks and lofty words. Well, they're getting along well. Common gray mediocrity. All right, we forged. So yeah, you can hunt for ration for your food for your rest which will take longer because you knew full hunting. But you still apparently do a little bit of hunting and get some amount of food in here to offset the supplies. That was done. Oh, we didn't cook a good meal, so we're not going to get a buff out of it. Womp womp. But hopefully no attacks. We did get good camouflage to reduce the chance of attack, but I don't think it eliminates it. So yeah, we're not fully healed. I know what to do. I will drop some healing spells on her here, though. Just the one. Uh, so that at least... If she takes damage from this, hopefully it won't be so bad. Forget it. Fail. <laughs> Fail. <It> work. <sighs> work. So she's got a six modifier. I mean, it's not the heart. It's a tough check, but woof. All according to plan. Do we just rest again? I mean, okay, let's rest again, clear out the rest of the cave, and then see what we can do over here. You are beautiful, Valerie, especially for a human. This is not meant as a compliment, merely a statement of fact. It would be a pity if this beauty leaves the world. Do you suggest Maybe we can come back here with a druid or someone else with higher lore nature. Anyway, between life and death? I don't think I'd like it. <laughs> Trying to convince her to become immortal? Wow. Camp camouflage failed. Chance of ambush increased. We do get a hearty meal. Okay. To arms. Oh, we do get attacked. Alright, drink a potion. Oh, people are sleeping and taking a while to get up. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, that's reasonable. Let's rage a little bit here. This 
spiders don't seem to be lootable. I'm quite surprised about that. In most games, you'd be picking up, like, fangs, a little bit of leather. Okay. Well, no, you did, you did heal. Do we just... Okay, let's go looking for fights first. Let's quick save. We're going to clear this out. Especially if we can do another big uh, buff wave. And then when we know we don't need any more hit points for fighting, we're going to try to pick those berries again. I, I'm i betting... Oh, okay. As it should be. Go back. Now we are in a fight. Okay. You should be. Well, then, before it starts... Rage. Nothing for you to do. Bless. I'm going to go ahead and open a shield on her. I think she loses AC when she's raging, so shielding her seems to make sense. Oh, and then... Actually, what I should have done is started dropping this on these swarms immediately. Plus, hopefully dropping some AoE damage as well. Okay, that got the swarm. Oh my god, there's a ton of spiders in here. Pull back. Let's try to make use of this choke point so we can get some efficient bombings. Well, I need to change the uh, party order here. Because, yeah, hold on. Well, we're going to change the order, change the formation. There we go. Something like that. Anyway, that is nicely clustered. Including a swarm. Which we definitely want to bomb. In fact, I will specifically target the swarm to make sure it's getting hit. There we go. Are you guys... Actually confused? Maybe waiting around to reevaluate. Okay. Well, that wasn't so bad. We do still have the Bless and the Shield. So let's quickly run forward here. See if we might run into more baddies. Yeah. A corpse. Loot. What do we get here? Masterwork Dagger. Orc Double Axe plus one. Ooh, that is an exotic weapon for sure. Double weapon. It's the same as dual wielding. But it's plus one, which is nice. Ooh, lots more dead people over here. Potion of Restoration. Probably good against the poison. Masterwork Dagger. Part of me is tempted to go back to the inn after this so that we can get a full rest and just purge all this strength damage that we've got going on. Man. Is that, uh... That looks like it might be it. Let's just check this area down here. I don't know if there's a way to keep the tab toggled on. I keep hitting it. Maybe there is a toggle. I should look through the options. Okay, well, I guess we'll do this some more. I guess what we can do if, if she does use up all her hit points picking the berries, we can cycle someone else. I mean, we're going to have a much lower lore score. Forget Ugh. It. I'm oh. listening. Why not, Valerie, you try it. I know you're going to have a much lower chance. What's your plus here? You do have a plus five. It's not bad. I can't. I've completed my... Oh, finally. Jeez. <laughs> we rolled the nat... Oh, no. We didn't roll the nat 20. We rolled the 15. But we did get there. That statistically was unlikely to happen the way that it did. So that is kind of frustrating. Oh, we are okay. so hurt and still poisoned. I think going to the inn makes sense. I know, like, things are a little time sensitive. So I'm a little concerned, you know, losing too much time to this kind of wandering. But it kind of seems like maybe the right thing to do here. Um, it'll get rid of all our poison, it'll heal our wounds, and we can turn in the Fangberry quest as well. Hopefully get some extra XP. Probably not enough to level us, but... Whew. Damn. The scythe is pretty cool. Doesn't look like she's holding it here, it just looks like it's pasted onto the picture. Let's go, let's just go north just to open up some more stuff here. I don't want to clear out those planes, because I want to really fight some Manticores right now. There we go. Let's head to the trading post. Please and thank you. Turn in the quest. Get a decent night's rest. Heal ourselves up. Get rid of all this poison. I think we're going to get full healed from this. I think it's going to purge all those problems. Crisis points. All right. Well. And we can sell some of the stuff we've gotten. In due time. Boken! I have some berries for you. Here you go. After a quick glance at the basket, Boken grabs a fistful of berries and shoves them into his mouth. A smile of bright of delight brightens his face. Ah, Fangberry, so fresh. You've been good to an old man. Thank you. Take these potions. If you need more, feel free to return. Give you a discount. Well, that's good. Decent amount of experience. What did you use the berries for? 
Truth be told, as I've gotten older, I've gotten kind of particular. My appetite is almost gone. Everything I eat is practically tasteless to me now. I can barely force myself to swallow a bite. Only thing I can still taste is fangberries, so I add them to my porridge or to roast meat. I even add them to my potions. When I ran out of fangberries, I stopped eating entirely. Svetlana tried to help me, the deer. She baked pies for me, cooked me fish soup and stewed venison, but I just couldn't eat any of it. I was desperate. Those damn spiders have sucked the last bit of joy out of my life. If not for you, I'd pretty much have to starve to death, miserable to an end. A lot of people having kind of, um, you know, existential crises here. Uh, all right, so yeah, you still need the moon radishes. I should go. Leg! Show me your wares. I'm gonna sell some things here. Now, Masterwork Dagger. I don't think I've got any reason to hold on. I love how in this game it does tell you where you found these items at the bottom. That's amazing. Really cool extra detail. We're gonna sell that, that's for sure. The question is, what to do with this Orc Double Axe? Plus one. That is an awesome weapon. But I don't think any of our characters can actually wield it. No, we would definitely need someone to get exotic weapon proficiency and want to do two-handed stuff, which might be a good fit for Amiri. There might be another character who wants to use it. I'm tempted, though, to just sell it at this point. We could always buy it back. Sure, it'd be at a loss. Or I could just put it in a bin for now. If I don't need the 600 gold, and I suppose I don't, then maybe? Although if I sold it, I could get the bag of holding. But I could just buy a ring of protection right now. Deflection bonus. Now I think shields give a deflection bonus, so I don't think it would be useful in Valerie. We've already got one, so it wouldn't help us, but it would be quite nice on probably a Miri. I am going to buy this. Screw it. Let's sell this. Okay. I think that's an okay idea. So yeah, Amiri, why don't you go... Oh, what is this? Cloak Resistance plus one on all saving throws. I want it. I'm the main character. I get it. Although I'm probably not going to be hit by as many things as the frontline fighters. Valerie's got great AC. Maybe we'll give it to Jathale. Sort of balance out some of the defensive bonuses. I mean, this doesn't boost AC, but it's still kind of good for keeping people alive. That seems all right. Let's go and sleep. Hi, kitty. Can't pet the cat. Very disappointing, this game. Do, 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 do. 16 hours. That is quite the rest, but I guess that's what was required for full healing. We got all our strength back, presumably. Alright, let's get out of here. And I think I might head towards the rival spot next. Let's make the trip that way. Uh, except. And then that'll be a good place to put in a cut. But yeah, we'll try to get there first. Chugga, chugga, chugga. Press tab to highlight interactable objects. Thank you, game! So, I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way down to this crossing and then head west. Try to avoid? I don't know. XP is XP. I don't know exactly how much XP we're getting for these kills, though. I'm not sure how meaningful they are. But I'm worried that if you go avoid, maybe you, like, you know, then you take more damage. Bandit, bandit. I mean, yeah, we can probably me. just, oops, Despicable. just run up and take these guys. Um, Let us strike yeah, go ahead and retard it here, because I don't want to run by the melee to go after the archer. But this does seem pretty easy. Well, we did take some damage. Hate to see that. I was trying to get away without consuming any resources, but State hit points are own. a resource. Yeah, probably wasn't worth a spell anyway, but... That sucks a little bit. Do do do. Cheap in progress. Survivor one of a hundred. All right. I wonder what that represents. Hang on. Oh, I don't know. Okay. I thought I'd be able to check it, but I guess because it's only in progress, I'm not actually going to get the info. Let's keep moving down here. Um, maybe this way. Either way, probably. Oh, there we go. Probably more than one way to get to the ancient tome. We will indeed enter this location 
But then we are going to go ahead and put in a cut and deal with this next time. Folks, thanks a lot for watching another episode. I'm really enjoying this game. I hope you are too. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.